Why should we read the Old Testament? A lot of people think that the Old Testament is dry and boring. A lot of people think that the Old Testament is irrelevant because they think that Jesus isn't anywhere to be found in the Old Testament. But actually, that couldn't be further from the truth. Jesus is everywhere in the Old Testament. For example, last week in worship, we looked at Numbers chapter 21, the account of the bronze snake. God had sent venomous snakes among the people of Israel because they failed to trust in him again. But God had Moses make a bronze snake and lift it up on a pole. And anyone who was bitten by a venomous snake could look at that bronze snake and live. Well, Jesus himself says that bronze snake is a picture of him and what he would eventually do. Jesus tells us in John chapter 3, Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Another time we see Jesus in the Old Testament is during the institution of the Passover feast. When the Israelites were slaves in Egypt, God had sent 10 plagues on the land of Egypt, which would eventually lead to Israel's freedom. And the last plague that God had sent was the plague of death to every firstborn son. And in order to spare the Israelites from this plague, God had given them very specific instructions. They were to take a one-year-old lamb without blemish or defect, and then they were to kill it, eat it, and then paint its blood on the outside doorposts of their home. And when God saw the blood of that pure lamb painted on the outside of their homes, God would spare them from death. That too is a picture of Jesus saving work. 1 Peter 1 verses 18 and 19 tells us, For you know that it was not with perishable things, such as silver or gold, that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. And 1 Corinthians 5 verse 7 tells us, For Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Those are just two examples where you can find Jesus in the Old Testament. But there are literally hundreds of places where you can find Jesus in the Old Testament. Like Genesis 1, Genesis 3, Leviticus chapter 16, Job chapter 19, Psalm 2, Psalm 22, Psalm 23, Isaiah 53, and Micah chapter 5, just to name a few. So perhaps it might be time to dust off the Old Testament and give it a read once again. But this time, I challenge you to find Jesus in the Old Testament. I'm willing to bet that it'll renew your appreciation for the entirety of God's holy word. If this devotion has been a blessing to you, then please like and share with others. God's blessings to you all.